because I just can't imagine anything being able to go through that wall. Most buildings are built with the steelers on the inside around the elevator shaft. This one was built from the outside, which is the strongest structure you can have, and it was almost just like a, uh, like a can of soup. You know, Donald, we were looking at pictures all morning long of that plane coming into uh, building number two, and when you see that uh, approach the the far side, and then all of a sudden, within a matter of a millisecond, the explosion pops out the other side. I just think that there was a plane with more than just two. Yeah. You know what San Francisco just gone is clear over its but it isn't. It isn't just on the rainy part of town, but the upper class of San Francisco. Is that way a Bohemian drove that I had had? On top of time, the years and the others have come there. But it is the most faggot goddamn that you will hear that they were having. Often referred to collectively as geoengineering, that potentially could help reverse the warming effects of global climate change. One that has gained my personal attention is stratospheric aerosol injection, or SAI. A method of seeding the stratosphere with particles that can help reflect the sun's heat in much the same way that volcanic eruptions do. They start out the most popular person in the world, make a lot of money, big house, cars, and everything, end up with meaningless, huge conspiracy that you do it on purpose. All right. Welcome, welcome, welcome once again, everybody, to a very special edition of The Cosmic Show. Um, please give us that like, comment, that share, subscribe. I'm your host, The Cosmic Router, here with Mars Bars. Want to say hi really quick, Mars Bars? Hello, everyone. So this is a pre-recorded episode, and I got to tell you guys, I IPRO requested a lot of documents from the West Mesa murders and I, I I had way more than I could ever have imagined released to me. I have at least seven to ten audio and video clips to pour through right now. But this is the first episode in that. So if you're listening as an audio follower as of 9-25-2024, you're one of the first people to hear this if you follow the audio-only podcast. We're going to hold this for a week and a half. It's not going to be released until two Fridays from now. So not this Friday in September, but the first Friday of October, we will release this 911 call that was released to us. Um, it was a family member reporting somebody that the whole family had been known was missing for the whole time. And it's finally been semi-officially linked to the West Mesa murders. But overall, Mars, what are your thoughts on this whole tragedy or this whole circumstance it's one of the biggest mysteries in albuquerque's history in new mexico's history right um well i just kind of wanted to make a quick um point out that uh how many or ask you a question really how many times did you have to request this information and how long did it take you to get this information because this, so, isn't this, you said, said you submitted several requests, or was it just like, oh, I'll walk on down and get it in a couple weeks? You know, that's actually that's actually a great point. Thank you for bringing all that up. No, this has taken me several years to do this. I started in 2022 trying to get this information. So I started off with emails. There wasn't a formalized way online to submit these requests. And it wasn't always clear as to what department I would make this request of. So the past few years it's got a little bit easier um there's a city records clerk they handle the records clerking for everybody who's a city of albuquerque employee and that just included apd because they were the responding jurisdiction of this whole case so i was kind of very lucky i kept following up on it in 2022 i i, I did a couple requests online nothing was ever followed up on I happened to do it again last year, and then I started to get momentum. I got the missing persons reports, or at least all the ones that were filed in New Mexico. I think there's even an episode where I talked about it. Strangely, it, mm -hmm. it didn't seem to get out there, but you could, you could definitely find it on my Buzzsprout, my Spotify, my YouTube. Um, but from there, I just started trying to narrow down the information, right? And I first requested this audio-visual information first, I started off strong right. with that, right? 
So I did it again. And it also happened to work. And I also have to say that the city of Albuquerque and APD have shifted their official policy on this. So this is where I've actually had the biggest moral dilemma or I've had a lot of, um, I'm not sure if I should do this or if I'm allowed to do it. Right. Because I'm like, am I allowed to publish an IPRA request? Am I allowed to just get these links, download them, put them on the damn internet? And I think there's an expectation that these are going to be made public, but also at the same time, APD and news releases has officially asked the public for help now. So this is kind of okay. approaching cold case territory. Right. right. I'm not sure. And this is where I have a lot of problems with the cases because I don't think, I think they likely have whoever has done this on their list of people to look into, but I don't, I don't know. I'm right. going into this with fresh eyes. Right. What say you? Yeah. I think that, that uh, this is a good opportunity to just kind of like, let people hear the uh, whatever information is out there, just like a raw version of it, um, so that everyone doesn't have to go, you know, and uh, submit a Freedom of Information Act, pay for the, because you pay for, for everything you got, right? Like per file or something? No. Or it's free? I I paid maybe very minimal for the paper copies, but I don't think I pay. I don't... I don't think I paid anything for any of this. Oh, that's awesome. Okay, well, even better, but still. Or they could make you, you do to... that in other jurisdictions. They could make you do that in Missouri right. or somewhere. Right, right. Yeah. Anyway, but it's a good way for people to just see, you know, and hear. I mean, it's always it's like a shot in the dark, right? Like if any small detail detail like matters but oh yeah we yeah. want to i yeah. think we'll find him eventually and i hope that this show or this podcast i know my show is not the most serious all the time i do new mexico vlogs i go out and have fun i have some beers i come on here and i talk shit about politics but whenever it comes to the true crime stuff that's local i'm very much about it and i want this shit to be solved so just keep that in yeah. mind people that's one thing. So expect a series of this. We're heading into October. I think this is 15 years since it's all happened. And it's very unfortunate. It's all been a certain class of women. They're all been on the edges of society. Likely sex trafficked. Um, maybe they trafficked themselves. Maybe they got pushed into it. Maybe it's all they knew. But this is something that we deserve some big answers, like as a community. This this case is a microcosm on how things are just going in Albuquerque in general. It has everything. It has fentanyl. It has vices. It has guns, weapons, murders, a minority taking advantage of. Like it has everything. Like it's a really bad. It's a really bad state out there on the streets. So. If you have people out here on the streets of Albuquerque, make sure you're reaching out to them. Um, make sure you're doing everything you can, maybe even a little bit extra right now, because it's, uh, it's a little bit terrifying. That's all I can say from my lens. Are we ready to get into this 911 call? I think so. Let's hear it. All right, and I want to once again thank all the audio only supporters so much because you drive the show you always have and you are going to be the first to listen to this for at least a week and a half so make sure if you have any leads or any real comments to make about this you hit up the text link in the bus sprout link it's on spotify it's on all the audio platforms in the description you go and you look at the podcast link descriptions or whatever there's a spot where you could text us a message if you have something to say about that or about this case, text that number. Make sure you reach me on the DMs at FreeJerry88 on Twitter. That's the last thing. And now for the next, let me see, at least 16 minutes, we are going to go silent and Mars and I are just going to listen to this audio. So if you can, Mars, can you mute your mic on your end? And I'll mute mine. Oh, yeah, sure. Yep. 
I do want. I'm going to ask you really quick, Mars, though, if you can hear this. This is the starts. Can you so hear anything? As it goes. Good. It's Let's very see. faint. Very faint. Yeah. That is as high as it goes. Oh no. Let me see. Hold on. Like how faint is it on a one to ten? Um, like a two. That kind of sounds about, I mean, I don't know. Let's see. That's what I was most afraid right, of. Let me turn, let me turn up my volume. Maybe let me see. Go ahead. Yeah. Try that. Let us work out the kinks, folks. Thank you. I'm going to go back a few seconds. All right. It's going to be faint, but... I'm hoping with the upload to the podcast, it'll be better. So just keep that in mind. I'm hoping okay, that you can hear it enough to react to it. Okay. Let's go back. And now we'll try it. Okay. We'll just mute and we'll rock with it. Okay. And make it upload. It. it may not. We'll see.
and walk you through walls. Yeah, like a ghost. And uh, then they tell, they call her again and tell her, you need to pay up what your kids owe or your other daughters can get the same way that you did. You know what? I really think you need to do this with an officer, not over the phone. Because, um, oh, I know that, I know what is your name, man? Gloria Gonzalez, Gloria Gonzalez. And the phone number for you, Gloria? 866 Because I called up, uh, for a detective for missing person case, I called 
God, I said, now you're punishing all who struck to this. Because they said it's a man that goes by the name of Grandpa, and he's a known drug dealer. And that drug that called my sister said that the man had his carpet replaced because there was blood all over his carpet and wall. Yeah. Let me let me check with my supervisor to see what we can do with this. I'll call you right back for you. Okay. At eight six six zero seven seven eight. Yes. Now it will it really accept our call? Our call comes out at seven six eight twenty twenty. Our number. Well, it should if it's a lot. I don't have trouble with all the calls mm. as long as you don't block. Like a story. Oh, yeah. No. no. No, that's what they do. Correct. Okay. Let me out. And how long are the calls been moving? You've got flyers out there. Yeah, I know it's been good for more of now that people are starting to talk. Okay. And uh, when did the calls start coming in? Oh, uh, just this year. Uh, this last my sister will tell say more about when they started. But in other terms, that the that she's walking through walls. Yeah, and she's a ghost. She's buried somewhere. Really? Yeah, all of them down way somewhere. That they buried her somewhere there. And a man by the name of Grandpa. He drives a blue truck with a blue camper. Grandpa. Is a blue truck with camper? Yeah, and um, right there by, uh, oh, I, I can't tell you. Right across from the flea market, there's some of the old speed of apartment. And right there, parked in the alleyway, he was parked there last night. And my concern is my niece, seven niece, is out there. And if he's going after her, her life is in danger. Well, what is she doing doing that for this? Because she doesn't understand that that's not a place for her to be. She knows that her other sister's missing. That's right. Because they went that uh, this man, Grandpa, was the one who they told you he was the last man to see her. Yes. And there's other people that say they saw her with him into the truck. And that was the last my sister. And where was this? In August? That was when she was missing. When she turned up missing. Yeah. Um, okay, hold on. I'll call you right, right back. Let me check on this one, okay? Okay. I'll call you right back. Bye bye. I don't know the, the 
fond of bodies in front of a woman, but they don't, they can get blame or anything. Oh, you know, but I hope that it's not my new guy. I hope not. I called like two weeks ago and said she's coming home, and so like, we haven't, my sister hasn't seen that's going to go to me, the one that's missing. You know, the uh, one recently, this is of my other niece. Oh, but, okay, so you've got another niece out there that's missing? You know, if we haven't reported her missing because we don't know what she is. For sure, is she the one that's out looking for her sister? Well, she's not the for she's on, uh, she was hanging out with my other niece that's missing. They're known cross. Both of them, all, and they were both hanging together, and that was the last my other niece had seen of her. But from my understanding, well, you're going to have to give all this information to whoever calls you the case that you take it from violent crime. But this man was looking for her because both of them all came and said, okay, well, just make sure you tell them all this. And about the money that they did pay up and all this. So, Clint, what have you told me? Yeah, because uh, they said if uh, my sister didn't pay up, my other niece was going to get the same thing that the sister got. Or the sister? Yes. The two of them are what? Yes. Oh, okay. Well, they're going to call you, so you make sure you give them all that information, okay? You know, that's... that's you know, I, I know something happened to her because, you know, she, she has a son out there. Oh, my God. He's been taking care of him. And I'm right. He's a beautiful baby. Still are right. My niece has always called him no matter how hard she's been. So, you know, what she's done or what she, she is, she's always picked up the phone and called him and we haven't heard from her in a long time. Well, to give them all the information that you're giving me, okay? Okay. And good luck to you. I hope they find your safe and sound. And he's going to, or they're going to call you. So it's, we're just giving the recording of the re 